Hi guys, I want to do you a very quick video on how you can replace this front landing leg on the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Zoom and Pro. Now there's a lot of, there isn't a lot of videos out there for this. I've searched and searched and searched. Um, I had running with a tree, uh, and as such, I need to replace both of these these legs. As you can see, this one there has taken a bit of damage. It's actually snapped away, uh, and on this side, it's actually bent a little bit there. Now the legs themselves, the whole, or what I'm going to call the arm, the whole arms can be bought um, on AliExpress, Alibaba, a few other places, eBay, Amazon. Um, you can buy the whole leg. They come in at around um, between 18 and 20 pound a piece for the front ones. I think the rears are about 11 pound. Now all the videos that I've seen so far have involved removing and desoldering and resoldering the entire leg. Um, which is fine if you have the equipment and the tools and the knowledge. These are still quite new. Um, it does involve removing the entire body to get to the where the solders are, then you have to take off the, um, there's a, a hinge that's under tension that gives you that springing forward. You have to retension the hinge when you refit the arms. Um, and obviously then there's a load of wires to resolder. And it does involve opening the entire um, Mavic 2. However, the problem with these is that DJI decided to put these LEDs into the actual leg and you'll see when we strip this down that the only way there is no plug, there's nothing like that, the, the wires run all the way through into the motherboard. Um, however, after a little bit of fiddling and messing around, um, I have found a way that you can take this out, you can actually get the LED through the hole leaving it hanging with the antenna and when you get your new leg do the same thing and you're just about to replace this single leg um, so for 20 pound a piece it's it's not overly expensive these tend to be from looking around these tend to be the things that go the most they're just plastic um, and for those of you that don't know the antenna is in these as well um, so yeah let's get into it so the first thing you need to do is get the LED cover off um, you're probably going to mark the housing slightly, but because we're replacing this, it isn't going to matter. There's four clips on it. There's one, two, uh, three, and four. So we're just going to go away and just, just pry that out. I'm going to go from the bottom and just, just try and pop that out as best I can. I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver. Um, there you go, she's going now. And you can see now that's popping away nice and nice and gently there we go that's away now the reason you need to take that off is because there is a, uh, a small phillips screw just behind the led you can just see it there the camera's picking that up um, so you need to go ahead and remove that and then you need your 1.5 millimeter hex piece Take out the three hex screws that are holding that in. Once you've removed these, that lower leg will now become quite loose. Um, you can take like a 90 degree angle there and you'll see that inside the wires are holding place with this kind of, uh, I think it's called wire, wire glue, wire lock, something like that. Um, but yeah, you can literally just go ahead, scrape that away, um, free the wires off. Once you've done that, you'll see the wires become a little bit easier to work with. Now inside that leg there is the antenna there. You can see that's the black thing there, just inside. Now it does actually have, um, it's shaped like a bit of a T, and you can see it there, just a small piece. Now that piece there is the piece that we're gonna grab onto to actually pull the antenna out. A lot of people spend a bit of time fiddling, pulling and wiggling, and you don't really need to do it. There's a, another small bit of glue there at the side. So I'm gonna take the scalpel, just cut through that, and then we're just gonna pull that out. So I'm just gonna take the scalpel, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide it in the back and just push through all that glue that's in there. That's all you need to do. That should be enough. I'm using a small set of pliers for this and I'm just going to literally, I'm going to grab that T piece and I'm just going to wiggle it free, pull out the antenna. So once you've done that and you've freed it off, you should be able to just lift that antenna straight out. Leave that dangling, it's not going anywhere, it's absolutely fine. 
you will now, if I turn this leg around, if I lay this back down again, you'll see that the LED doesn't actually fit through that hole. It's uh, so yeah. This is where um, I spent a little bit of time messing around, and what I decided to do is I just push that up out of the way. Um, again, I'm going to take the scalpel, and all I'm going to do is I am going to between the holes that mount the LED cover. I'm just going to literally. I'm going to take away some of the material there. Um, it, this took me about five minutes to do last time, um, but it should be a bit quicker now. I'd have to be as careful with it, I suppose. I know where I'm going with it. Um, and yeah, you just want to take a little bit away. You just want to make room for those, uh, those small little LEDs and the wiring to go through at both sides without really affecting any of the structure of the housing. Um, also, please be careful with your fingers when you're doing this. And now if you can see that, what I've actually done is, you can see that I've just made the rectangle hole um, a bit wider in the middle of the circle through it. Now the LED should be able to pass through that without having to desolder anything, remove the arm or anything else, uh, making it a very, very quick fix. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm just gonna guide that through, fold the LEDs and the wiring flat to itself. This wiring seems to be a bit messier on this side than it did um, on the other side, which means it's a bit of a tighter fit, but there you go, she's gone. So yeah, you can see now, if you look at that, all we've done is made the hole slightly bigger. The, uh, the LED cover will still fit back in. Um, we haven't disrupted any of the thing. We haven't really even marked the, uh, the outside However, you can see how bent this is. Um, I'm sure it would work fine, but just for cosmetics, I'm gonna make it, put a new one on there. Um, and yeah, so all you need to do is when you get the new leg, you're gonna to have to do the same thing. Make the hole slightly larger, feed the LED back through it, and then you'll, be end, you'll have your new one. And refitting is exactly the same. Once you're at this position, um, all you need to do is, and the, way I, the, easiest found, the easiest way I found to do this was to take your LED and bend it into an L shape. much like that and then once you take your um, leg you should be able just to grab the end and just pull it through obviously not catching be careful not to catch any circuit boards if it isn't going take a bit more material out um, but a bit tougher than you think And there you have it. So that's back in position now. That will click back into place. Like that. Um, you could always put a little bit of hot glue on the back again if you want to re you know, uh, re-secure those wires. Do the same with the antenna. Click that, back into its track. And that side there. Like that. Um, same thing goes if you would like to, you can always put a little bit of uh, a little bit of hot glue on the back of on top of that again as it was I'm not going to because I want to replace these at a later date mine haven't arrived yet but I'm just kind of prepping them for when they do um, and yeah that's that's all there is to it really um, that's now ready to screw back in uh, and yeah you've saved yourself a lot of messing about you don't have to open the body of the uh, of the actual device there's no soldering um, and this has taken probably, you know, around, I've, I've done, a, done it a little bit slower, I've done a bit of talking. Um, you could probably do this in around uh, around 10 minutes aside. Um, it's very, very simple. And yeah, the, the rebuild's exactly the same, but in reverse. So once obviously you put a little bit of glue in the back of there just to hold it into place, that'll sit back in properly. You can literally just drop it back, um, running the wires back in their track as well. You can drop that back into place, put your Phillips screw is gonna go back into that hole.
good little tip is if you're doing a lot of bits like this with the small screws, um, if you get a bit of masking tape or tape of any kind and lay it actually face down and secure it face down uh, with a sticky side facing up, you can actually just attach all your small screws to it. They're not going to go anywhere. It's something I do quite a lot with mobile phones when we're doing screens and things. Um, you can also lay them out in order as well. It's do it does help. Um, that way you're certainly not going to risk losing any. And yeah, easy as that. LED cover will go back on. Um, and it's good to go. I've just got to wait for my spare parts to arrive. But you can obviously, as I say, it's a, it's a much quicker fix than having to remove the whole arm, opening up the whole body. Um, I've seen quite a few teardown videos of this now. Um, obviously battery out, there's a few screws underneath. The, the nose cone needs to come off and the entire top shell of the body comes off. And that's where um, you can access the wiring for these four legs and obviously the front leg is a lot more difficult because as I say part of the strip down um, under there is a hinge <clears throat> and the hinge is under tension it's like a spring you have to retension that when you're fitting it in order to get that leg to spring out um, if you don't do it you end up with a leg being very floppy which isn't ideal during flight so I think just generally being able to stay away from opening up any of this is a much better scenario than uh, and having to do all that so yeah if anyone needs to add anything please add it in the comments below uh, and like and share if you're if, if you're happy with what you've seen thanks very much